welcome everybody to Coyote Wild Let's Glitch. I'm Virgil. Now today we're going to be doing a uh, another Fallout 3 Operation Anchorage glitch. Now this one is how to get the Chinese jumpsuit, basically General Jingwei's uniform. It's got a really great damage threshold for what it is, and um, I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, basically, first off, when you want to start at the Field HQ, or the U.S. Army Field Headquarters, and you want to come to the quartermaster, but make sure if you're doing the uh, um, uh, requisition exploit, uh, you want to go through that whole process beforehand, because once you kill the quartermaster, I don't think you can get any of your weapons. So uh, yeah, uh, first off, you want to get him into the corner so none of the uh, American NPCs actually know that you're killing him, because every NPC in this DLC. Um, they will, uh, they'll disappear whenever you kill them, so you can't pick up their items. However, there's one NPC, the Quartermaster, that does not. So basically what you want to do is kill him as fast as you can. The Power Fist probably your best option because it doesn't give much noise. You lose karma, obviously. And then, see? His body is just normally here. And then you want to pick it up. And then you get a second set of Winterized Combat Arm. Two sets of winterized combat armor, you can drop it, you know, pick it up and everything. But you want to keep this second set. Uh, if you want to, like, bring this out into the wasteland and just have two sets of winterized combat armor, that's up to you. But uh, basically, you're going to need this extra set for this glitch. Now, moving on to the end of the DLC. And here we are at the Chinese HQ. This is basically the uh, end of the DLC, and this is the location that you need to go to, and this is where General Jingwei is at. Just go, just go ahead and go inside. And this, uh, this scene will play as normal. Just go ahead and click, I'm going to kill you so much. And he's going to start chasing you. He moves extremely fast, so you want to get out of the way and, you know, jump a little bit. But, uh, basically, usually when you... Oh, he shot me. Why? Um... You want to come over here, and there's usually a shield that's blocking your way out. And uh, basically, what you want to do is um, you want to go into third-person mode, and then it'll say door to Anchorage if you move your camera around a little bit to where it was facing that direction. So I went ahead and redid that on my part because I was crippled, but basically uh, you want to be careful and get out as soon as possible because uh, later on there are going to be T-51Bs, or at least in my game, uh, T-51Bs that spawn and they're, ba they're randomly your enemy. So um, they're going to follow you out with like missile launchers and miniguns and stuff and uh, that'll just make it a lot harder on you to do this, so basically get out as soon as you can. And what you want to do next is, um, well first I would recommend equipping the combat shotgun if you've got one. And you want to take out his legs, because he's moving extremely fast and it's going to be ex it's going to be way too difficult to take him out otherwise and do this glitch. So just go for his legs. I think I read on the wiki that he has about the same health as a super mutant behemoth. Though I'm not positive on that. Oh, I ran right into him. His left leg is crippled. And uh, just a note, play this on normal or harder. 
Uh, because it, on the easier difficulties, it's very, very easy to kill him. So, uh, do this on normal or harder because you won't do enough damage to actually, uh, nearly kill him. And, um, yeah, just keep, just keep doing this process. See, like, I'm not doing that much of damage. Uh, my damage per second isn't hurting him so much that I'm in danger of actually killing him prematurely. Now both of his legs are crippled and he's not going to be... Well, I think I think it said that. Okay, both of his legs are crippled. So now what you want to do is what I would recommend to do. Take off all of your armor and unequip your weapon and just run. Yeah, look at my fancy hair and the Sherman Ching mustache. Since he's moving so slow, it's going to be a lot easier to evade him. And come to this little location over here and uh, crouch down... And it's good. It's a good recommendation to have a good sneak skill. And just come over here. He doesn't know where you are, so um, he's gonna look around to see if he can find you. And it's good to have the camera like this, so you don't know where he is, so he doesn't know where you are. And uh, I'd recommend saving right here, just in case. This process basically, I say basically a lot, but this process, what it does is he's leaving combat, so it's easy, so um, you can actually pickpocket him. And, and, uh, since he's so far out here, you don't have really that much interference from the other enemies. But it does take a while for him to actually leave combat and go back. Because once he leaves combat, he's going to backtrack to the Chinese HQ, and this is that's when you follow him. But it does take a while for him to actually not... Uh, take him a while to get out of combat. And once he stopped uh, chasing you, and once it's gone, well, went from caution to hidden, he's gonna walk away, ba slowly back towards the Chinese HQ. This is where the second set of winterized combat armor comes in that I mentioned earlier. Basically, uh, what you do, it's kind of like with the Chinese assault rifle. You basically put the combat armor in his inventory, and it's a higher tier um, uh, combat or uh, it's a higher tier armor than what he's already currently wearing, so he'll put that on once he goes inside. Um, but basically what you want to do is you want to keep your distance. Most definitely keep your distance from him. Uh, you want to basically trail behind him as he goes toward the HQ. And if you get too close, he'll discover, he'll, it'll go from hidden to caution, he'll turn around and he'll attack you. Um... But just keep trailing behind him like this. You can get a little closer, but don't get too close. Because, uh... It doesn't really matter how close you get to him at this point, because he'll discover you pretty much every single time. And I'm not sure if you can pickpocket him from this point. So basically just keep following him like this. I say basically a lot, I know. It's it's something that I need to break. <laughs> and this is why you need to cripple his legs, because he moves way too fast, uh, and he'll discover you back there at that area pretty easily. So just keep on following him. And uh, eventually, he's, and in a couple seconds, he's going to open the door, and he's going to go back into the HQ like that. And it doesn't matter if you're hidden like this, just go back hidden. Open the door to Chinese HQ. And then it'll go loading screen, obviously. Okay. And basically just spam the button, kind of like with Gary23, because he basically discovers you the moment that you get in. Put one of the winterized combat armors in his inventory.
and then leave. You randomly lose karma for it, which I never really understood. And it's the same process over again. And as you can see, he's wearing the winterized combat armor because it's a higher tier armor. Okay, he's crouched because he knows I'm here. And he's gonna start. Then he starts patrolling like last time. Gotta keep an eye on him. However, you cannot get his hat. His hat is is uh has higher tier um, armor. Uh, higher, higher damage resistance than the winterized combat helmet, so that that his uh, the Chinese general's hat you can only get on the PC version, sadly. Okay, he's hidden. Well, we're hidden, so basically save again. And wait for him to go that way. And he's going to waddle his way back there, kind of like last time. Once again, keep your distance from him. As always, don't get too close uh, from at this point, especially because he can. He's got like Superman ears, and he can hear you from a pretty significant distance away. Okay, and then do this again. And a good recommendation is always to save right here. Open the door. And then mash the A button. Or what or if you're using the PlayStation controller, whatever is the equivalent of the Xbox A button. And uh, whenever you open his inventory, he has the Chinese jumpsuit. Uh, just take it out of his inventory, and uh, there you go. And I'll put it on for you here. But I'm also going to try to shoot his... Uh... See? He's wearing his uniform. I'm also going to try to shoot his shock sword out. With his hand. There we go. I picked it up. Yep. Then you got that uh, 10 million HP or something shock sword. So basically, we switched sets. So I'm killing him with his own weapon. And there we go. That is how you get General Jingwei's Chinese jumpsuit. Uh, these are the exact stats for it. 25 damage resistance, 
and its weight of 2, which is a bargain for only having 2 weight and having a damage resistance of 25. I mean, the combat armor has 20, 32 and it weighs 25 pounds, and it doesn't, it's only 10 caps, but this is a really good armor. And there's another good look at it. But yeah, this is how to get, well, technically this is also how to get Jingwei's shock sword, just knock it out of his hand, but, uh, yeah, this is how to get the Chinese jumpsuit slash General Jingwei's uniform in Fallout 3, Operation Anchorage. I hope you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you guys later. Hey guys, it's Chris here, and uh, I think you should subscribe. I mean, the dinosaurs didn't watch our videos, and look what happened to them.